It's Tuesday the 11th of May and because it's New Zealand Sign Language Week, uh, Bridget is here um, translating uh, for me. Um, we start off the day with oral questions. Uh, questions number one and three are the same from David Seymour and Judith Collins uh, to the Prime Minister asking whether she stands by all the government's statements and actions. Uh, number two uh, from David Duncan Webb to the Minister of Finance is about the New Zealand economy. Question number four is from Irina Williams to the Minister for COVID-19 response about MIQ uh, allocations. Question number five, Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Finance about the government's spending plans, both operating and capital in the budget. Ginny Anderson, question six to the Minister of Police uh, about announcements to combat um, organised crime. Uh, question number seven, uh, Scott Simpson to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety uh, about fair pay agreements. Question number eight, uh, Rachel Brooking to the Minister of Tourism about government support for tourism communities. Uh, question number nine, Jan Logie to the Minister for the Public Service uh, about wage increases or the lack thereof uh, for public servants. Question number 10 to Rizal Ngobi to the Associate Minister of Health uh, about cancer screening uh, programs for women. Uh, Mark Mitchell to the Minister for the Public Service about public service pay. And question number 12 is Mark Cameron to the Minister for Rural Communities uh, about the impact of government policies uh, on rural communities. We'll then go into the Appropriation Confirmation and Validation Bill. This is the annual review debate uh, where we go through agency by agency, minister by minister, uh, talking about things that happened uh, in the year that ended 30th of June last year and a little bit about ongoing matters as well. Um, when that's completed, probably around nine o'clock, we will go on to the Overseas Investment Amendment Bill number three, um, which is designed to um, reduce the risks of foreign investment, but also to smooth out processes uh, around the uh, Overseas Investment Commission. Um, that's uh, all that's going to happen today. We'll be back again tomorrow, but in the interim tomorrow morning, quite a few select committees will be meeting. See you again tomorrow.